five hours of summer once a week. Hey, hey, hey. Five hours of summer one Saturday morning. It is time once again for yet another episode of Color Commentary, where we give you views from a different side. I, of course, am your host, Rashad, and I'm joined by my compadre. Chuck Taylor here, guys. Make sure you like and subscribe. We're going to be all in your lives. Awesome, That's- sir. I'm so glad you remembered what your last name was. You hit us with that. Chuck mm, Taylor. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So um, perhaps you had forgotten your name because of all the many actresses and actors that are in this next movie that we're going to be reviewing, or at least the trailer for it. We're going to be talking about the Marvels. The trailer dropped today. And we're going to tell the world what we think about it. Uh, Mr. Chuck Taylor, Chuck mm, Taylor, why don't you go ahead and uh, let us know what you thought about the Marvels trailer? Okay, so my first initial reaction, like, I mean, I, I kind of was like, okay. First time I saw it, I almost, I, you know, I actually forgot about the, um, it's been a little while since the the Miss Marvel show. So I kind of forgot what happened at the end of that. Mm-hmm. They went to teleport. I was like, oh yeah, that did happen. Right. <laughs> I was like, okay. So, so once it brings me in, I like how it starts with uh, Rambo out there in space. Uh, she's up there with uh, Nick Fury, so mm-hmm. they had the black people up first. Yes, sorry, I want to be happy to see see Nick Fury and and Rambo up there. And but but when a uh, old girl like transfers in her body, man, or when they transfer, you no know, transport into the uh, suit, boy, I was kind of I was like, what the heck is happening to Rambo? Because I ain't never heard Rambo sound like that before. Uh-huh. I'm like, is she dying? So then when I see that, <laughs> seeing that the, the, what's the other girl's name? I forgot her Lee name. Larson? No, not Larson, the uh, the Indian. Uh, the oh, you mean uh, Kamala Khan? Yeah, Kamala Khan, yeah. Mm-hmm. Her, um, when she was screaming, boy, I was like, oh, I was like, oh, okay, it ain't her. I was like, I ain't never heard Rambo sound like that. <laughs> I was like, what is happening to her? So I was in, I was concerned, you know. But once that came in, it, it started off. And of course, Nick Fury's like, what the hell are you doing? Yeah. That's just having me rolling. I was like, that's, that's classic Nick Fury. He's, and if it was rated R, like, you know what he's going to be saying. Right. <laughs> but, um... I thought it, I thought it was a, it's, it kind of told what the movie's going to be about because I was very unclear what they were doing with this movie. Um, I still don't really understand how they're like teleporting and you know the, I know she said the the powers are intertwined. We didn't want that in the they're, trailer. They're so. Entangled. Entangled. Yes. 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 That, uh, that, is, that is definitely you know, the word of the early entanglement. 20s. Entanglement. Yes. Entanglement. <laughs> We got a lot of different types of entanglements. You got some Quantum entanglements, uh, personal entanglements, Ant Man entanglements. entanglements. <laughs> yes, I said quantum. Um, <laughs> but <laughs> so kind of seeing, um, you know, them all kind of on screen together was kind of cool. I still don't really understand the villain of the movie. Because I saw them fight at the end, and I was like, who is that person with the hammer? And then why is she even... Uh, she must be super OP power, because we are seeing Ms. Marvel destroy everybody by herself. Right. So if she's teaming up with somebody, then either her powers have weakened now, or this person is just super powerful. So I'm kind of eager to see how they're going to work that in there, because that's one of the Marvel characters that's so OP, is like why does she need help? Yeah. So it's kind of like watching um, Superman fight like somebody is like, yeah, he don't really need help with nobody unless there's some kryptonite involved. <laughs> and he's kind of weak. I, I, I saw that, something on Facebook recently that reminds me of what you're talking about. I hadn't even thought about this. It's, it showed when uh, um, Carol Dammit first showed up, you know, thrashing um, Thanos' ship in Endgame. And mm-hmm. it, it was like, yeah, well, Dammit's need an assist. 
And then, you know, in the real movie, you know, she takes the uh, the gauntlet. And they're like, oh, can you get it back to this time machine? And in yeah. the Facebook, it's like, no, nah, I'm good. And so she just takes it and snaps. Like, immediately. <laughs> and, like, <laughs> kills all Thanos' forces. And I'm like, she could have done that. <laughs> I didn't even think about You're that. Right. I, you know what? I was just thought about that after you just said I'm like, oh shoot, you're right. She could have just took care of this. <laughs> What's wrong with this girl? <laughs> I was like, oh no, we, we gotta have we gotta have Tony die. That's that's what it was. Right, right. Tony <laughs> has to die. Yeah. Well, sorry, that, that, that didn't mean that, to take away. That, sir, that's please, in, that's in his contract. He has to die. Right. We're not paying him. <laughs> Eighty million dollars for another movie, <laughs> but I could just snap. No, no, it's okay. No, <laughs> he needs to, he needs to die. It's Iron Man. I am Iron Man. Needs to be the moment. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, back to the trailer. Um, I was I, I didn't see that many scrolls, so I'm trying to think. Like I'm, I guess my whole thing is I, as we see more trailers, I'll get a little more of a, you know. Uh, message of what the movie's going to be about but the first initial one I mean I wasn't wild but I am like now more intrigued than I was before um, I think we're going to get a lot of history about the Rambo Carol Danvers type of issue because I, I really don't get their issues as, as much outside of Carol Danvers um, Carol what's it, it's Danvers, yeah. outside of Carol okay. Danvers um, so, yeah so I, I only think that's with her. She always gone. Like she always leaving. Mm -hmm. That's her biggest thing. So as long as she actually stay on screen on this movie and not just like fly off, and then come back at the end of the movie, and the other two actors been carrying the movie the whole time, and she just comes back and just saves the day, I'll be, I'll be, I'll be pretty much happy if she actually, at least, you know, has a working, work skills in her movie. Because some of her, some of her latest cameos have been a little. Oh, they were kind of like, oh gosh, <laughs> you just fly off. I gotta go save somebody. She, she hasn't been gone for a while. She should have saved everything else by now. Wow, so, <laughs> that's my thing. It's Sorry. a big universe. I'm gonna rant with. with <laughs> yeah, it's a big universe, but I mean, ain't nobody tell you to go save everything in the universe. How you even know this? First of all, off side topic. How she know what's going on in the universe? Well, you know, she can remember she he gave uh, got the that, that that pager, you know, so I'm sure she's got the technology to let her know, you know, what's going on all throughout the whole universe. I'm just saying, like, she just got the powers, like, not that long ago, and then she already out there fighting space stuff. She got the powers no, like, oh. like 20 years ago, over 20 years ago. She got the powers in the 90s. That's not that far. And she got to have if he's super OP. God, I'm about to just go on a rant. I'm sorry. Go ahead and talk about your, your what you thought about this movie. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, about, I'm about to just ask random questions about Ms. Marvel. Like, how is about to go to right on in. <laughs> <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> hey, man, I just want to say that um, this looks so fun to me. I really can't wait to see this one. I, I wasn't particularly excited about it because I am not a big fan of the first Captain Marvel movie. And, oh, uh, you know, and, and that yeah. was really disappointing because I was kind of hyping the movie up. And, you know, um, when people were saying, oh, she's not smiling. I was like, hold up, man. You know, look at Captain America ain't smiling. So I was really like defending the movie. <laughs> hey, you were like that, bro. Yeah. <laughs> I, I was defending, that. man. You were defending then, everything. Bro, you were with me, too. Yeah. So, it, but anyway. I was. I saw yeah. the movie. But, yeah, when we saw the movie, it was like, what is, this is terrible. This is, this is definitely my worst uh, <laughs> Marvel movie. I can't stand Captain. I've watched all of them over again, including Black Widow and and even Eternals. And I just refused to watch Captain Marvel another time. So I was just not excited to see this at all. But once I saw the trailer, I was like, this is this is fun, man. And the cool thing about it to me is it, it wasn't like Ant-Man funny. Like it was it was fun. I guess there's a slight difference. You know what I mean? And I'll I'll get into that. Um, but I noticed who was headlining the trailer. Did you notice that? Uh, Rambo. Yeah, Rambo was doing most and of the speaking. And, and then, then yeah. with a lot of great comic relief from Kamala Khan. And she was yeah. crushing it. Every, every scene that Kamala Khan was in, she was crushing it. When um, Goose, <laughs> the cat, 
was like, yeah, you know, bro. sitting his tentacles out. He's like, oh my god! Her scream was was electric, bro. I was like, it, that definitely woke you up, bro. You got a scream like that. She got to get a horror scream. Them screams right there, that was intense. I felt her. I felt her pain and, and fear in those moments. Right, right. Yeah. I think Kamala Khan's gonna be a lot of fun in, in this movie. Yeah. It's a really good balance between her and Rambo. Cause you know, Rambo's kind of serious, kind of, you know, the, the action hero. But the difference between Rambo and Carol Danvers is that she seems to be serious, but she still has some personality about it. Yeah. Versus like in this trailer, you didn't see any more personality from Carol Danvers than you see in anything else. Yeah, same thing that's that played through last time. Is <laughs> she ain't learned from it. She did get a little smaller. She not she didn't got extra. At least her outfit. Maybe her outfit makes her look a little thinner. Um, I'm not really that big of a fan of that. But I mean, hey, each his own. Yeah, right. So, but I just thought it was really interesting to see that this is technically the sequel to Captain Marvel. You know, so you would think that Brie Larson would be, you know, dead centered. But all of the marketing that I've seen for it so far has um, Tiana Paris, a uh, Parish, I think, Tiana Parish, right dead center. I mean, I, I mean I've mean, i seen like uh, people's YouTube stuff and it's like uh, a close up on uh, Tiana's face or it shows the three of them and she's standing in the center. It's like, wow, I guess this is like, yeah, <laughs> they didn't like you very much. <laughs> We can pull you back. Yeah, so y'all get equal time. I wonder what the pay, what the pay scale. I mean, I'm sure they'll give us the salary eventually, but the salary for these for this movie, since like it's about, it's not, it doesn't say Captain Marvel. It's definitely the Marvel. So it's like everybody kind of has an equal, an equal, uh, you know, screen time almost throughout the movie. So it's like. Maybe this is like a true team up movie, and I, so I'm trying to think of who's the. Well, I mean, I guess Carol, Carol Danvers would be the bigger name because that she's already had her own movie. Yeah, yeah, I would, I would, I would definitely assume that. Show. I would definitely assume that Brie Larson is definitely you getting the lion's share of the money because mm-hmm. she's you know has been a well known name well before this, and like you said, uh, Yvonne Vellani has you know has headlined her own show. So I think yeah. she would probably be second, and then Tiana Paris, you know, would be third. However, if this movie does well, you know, that could change very quickly. Yeah, yeah, you're definitely right. And Samuel Jackson's definitely going to get his cut. Oh, he's going to get his cut. Yeah. <laughs> cut. Cut off top. Go ahead and give me off that top cut right there. Most definitely. So, but yeah, man, I'm excited, man. Uh, I think this is going to be good. I didn't. Yeah, I don't have a clue of what the, what it's about. <laughs> yes. I know the powers are entangled. I feel like that's not going to last very long because they wouldn't be able to do anything. <laughs> yeah, because every time the powers and they just teleport, and then you know, you know, uh, Mar- Ms. Uh, not Miss Marvel, Captain Marvel going to be flying. So if she get back, she got to go fly off to another light year away, like over and over again. So mm-hmm. everybody gets her, gets teleported where she was at, going to be completely, you know, about to die. Yeah, she's gonna be flying through a black be, hole or something. Be out there in space, be out there in space <laughs> with no suit on. Wasn't very glad she didn't teleport while she was just flying through space. Mm-hmm. She'd be gone. <laughs> but she would have killed all of them real quick. Exactly. <laughs> oh, <laughs> speaking of which. Using her powers to fight somebody on a land that you could, on a planet that she could breathe air. Yeah, exactly. Because she could actually. The rest of them don't have that type of power. <laughs> Speaking of flying through space, I just gotta say one last thing. There's one thing that my girl, because you could you could tell that she's written by somebody else. Okay, one thing that my girl does, she's done this in, in two different things now. She did this in oh, WandaVision. Go touch, touch shit with, with yeah, our, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, investigating shit that she ain't got no reason. To, no, we don't do that. Yeah, that is definitely somebody we definitely, else. We right. investigate it. I, I'll say we investigate it, but we ain't gonna just touch it. We investigate it from a distance. We gonna let somebody else go touch it, right? Send, send, uh, <laughs> send Peter and and John out there, and Cindy go and touch that. <laughs> tell how it is, right? That's why. <laughs> that's why uh, Spear was like, "What the hell are you doing, Rambo?" <laughs> He was like, what you doing? 
<laughs> she's supposed to be like Fury. Send me a scanner out here. Not not touching stuff. I you could tell. I bet you when they when she was filming this scene, it's like okay. Um, so uh, Tiana, what I want you to do is go ahead and touch touch this thing right here. You touch it. That don't that don't seem right. <laughs> Are you sure that's what you want to do? That don't seem right. I didn't even think about that though, but you're right. Cause that on WandaVision, she went straight to that thing. And the old boy was like, Rambo, you get too close. Rambo, you get too close. <laughs> Rambo. It's like, I, I just want to say, I want to say, ah! Right. And then even your girl was trying to tell her, cause remember she went through the screen a second time. It's like, uh, yeah, you, you know, your fabric of your reality on your body is being rewritten. You know, it's like, oh. My mom had cancer. I'm not worried about cancer. <laughs> what? That's not how that works. <laughs> oh, gosh. This is what happened. Wow. Yeah, you're not going to get this anywhere else, guys. Yeah, this is, this is where we get we get uh, to the nitty and gritty. The exactly. real stuff. So what what questions do we have? Right. So what I'm hoping is, you know, if the movie does well, then that'll propel uh, Monica Rambeau's character way up there and then she can get a solo movie and you know it seems like what they're trying to do with the, some of the solo movies is have them directed by you know black well solo black movies have them directed by black actors black directors like blade this is directed oh, by yeah. a black person so maybe yeah. tiana will get her own movie with a black director that won't let her go out there and just touch the stuff <laughs> yeah yeah that definitely will, will be the first thing hey Stop touching stuff. Right, right. That's the mm -hmm. first thing. That's the first thing. Let me. Where's the script at? Oh yeah, we're gonna we, let's take this out. <laughs> you ain't touching no more unidentified objects. Right. First redact, stuff. redact, redact. <laughs> <laughs> oh oh boy. So, um, you got anything else? Any closing thoughts on this, Chuck? Oh uh, no. I mean, I guess I just don't know who the villain. I don't know what is about. Outside of the entertainment, so I'm, I'm just waiting for the next ones to drop, so we can kind of get the storyline, you know, out there. I think I did hear on some of the, um, on some of my sources, uh, that they're gonna have maybe a Kang variant type of thing. I know they're gonna be starting to try to tie in Kang to some of these movies and shows mm -hmm. because he's basically the puppet master of everything. So. I guess we're gonna, we may start seeing him kind of slide in in different avenues, and I heard this this might be one of the movies he has mm -hmm. a little part in. I heard something about him, a King variant being in, in the um, Secret Invasion. I hadn't heard anything about this one, but I mean, it kind of makes sense. Uh, I heard Secret Invasion, and I heard this one. I heard one of King variants being in to the possible uh, Moon Knight uh, season two if they do it. Mm -hmm. You know, so. He, it's so many of them. I mean, he can definitely be the. But <laughs> he definitely, you know, can be the enemy in like every movie. So hopefully, Jonathan Majors and everything gets taken care of with that situation, and he'll be able to. Yeah, I was uh, just thinking about that earlier because uh, yeah. I saw, um, I saw on TV where um, was it uh, Tubi was uh, advertising uh, Lovecraft Country, you know, and I saw that they had Jonathan Majors, you know, up there, you know, front and center. On the uh, on it, so I'm like, okay, all right. So people are still moving forward with him because they could have just not advertised Lovecraft Country, you know. So people yeah. still moving forward with him. So I, I'm assuming that his stuff must be okay at this point. Yeah, I think and I haven't uh, really heard much about it since then. Since yeah, recently. I think I think when, because you haven't heard too much about it, and then you caught it seeing like soon as it came out, it was like the next couple of days the the other people in question were like changing what they were saying mm -hmm. and then these people come on evidence like so fast and it's so it's so sad that like not saying like if something does happen like yeah you definitely move forward but like just little tiny situations like these actors and and celebrities they gotta watch out so fast because a blink of an eye boy one one wrong little thing out in public with somebody with video camera or something like you're everything gone yeah, you mean you're literally losing hundreds of millions of dollars. Yeah, overnight. <laughs> like if you think about Robert Downey Jr., like they he was so blessed that he lived young at the particular time he did because he did now what he did then. Mm -hmm. We ain't coming back. <laughs> he is canceled. He is gone. Right. You know. <laughs> 
you know, even with like the Tropic Thunder stuff, like none of that's gonna be able to, you know, fly these days. Like these, everybody's offended over everything. So it's it's a it's a little weird weird for uh, some of the comedians in the comic mm. com- comedy community. That's a little hard, a little touchy stuff. <laughs> You're right, you're right, you're right. All right, well, we won't take it out too long here. We're going to make the uh, the review longer than the trailer itself. Actually, it is longer yeah. than the trailer. We're going to make it longer yeah. than the movie. <laughs> <laughs> what did you guys think about any of the things that we talked about? Do you feel like uh, Brie Larson is being pushed back a little bit? Did you notice that? Uh, what do you think about what's going to be happening with Tiana Parrish and also uh, Yvonne Villani? Um, please leave a comment wherever you hear this recording and as usual you've got to subscribe Subscribe to survive survive. this is color commentary where we give you views from a different side oh my god oh my god saturday morning